sector of a circle and sector area. We're at 12.3a. We now have six previous videos for chapter 12 about circles that are linked in the geometry playlist if you need them or become lost or confused. The area of a sector is a fraction of the circle containing the sector. So that orange area is a sector of that circle. To find the area of a sector whose central angle measures m degrees, we multiply the area of the circle by the quotient of the measure of that central angle and 360 degrees. It should be a degree sign on that 360, shouldn't there? There, that's better. So for your notes, for the sector of a circle, a sector of a circle is a region bounded by two radii of the circle and their intercepted arc. We can write this as sector ACB. ACB, notice the C is the vertex here, and that's the center letter. So this is what it would look like and if this arc was m degrees, we could find its area using the formula pi r squared times the quotient of that central angle degree and 360 degrees. We can find the area of a sector, give our answer in terms of pi, or our answer could be rounded to the nearest hundredth. So here we have sector MPN this orange area, using the formula that the area is equal to pi r squared times the quotient of that central angle and 360 degrees, we put in our values, we substitute in our values, we see the radius is 3 inches, so we have 3 squared, we can see this is 80 degrees, we put that in place of m, and we can actually reduce with 9, 3 squared is a 9, and this 9 can go into the 360, so we have one 9 going into the 360 40 times, so that's canceled out. We end up with pi times the quotient of 80 degrees and 40, and that's equal to 2, isn't it? So our answer is 2 pi inches squared. On our calculators, we can see it's 6.28 inches squared. Here we have sector EFG, that's this orange area. We want to find the area, we use our formula, we substitute in our values, we can see the radius is 6 centimeters, so we have 6 squared. We can see this angle is 120 degrees, and 120 over 360 is 1 third, isn't it? This is 36, and we get that it is equal to 12 pi centimeters squared. We can use our calculators to see that it's 37.70 centimeters squared. It said it wanted it rounded to the nearest hundredth. That's why we stuck that zero in there. And write the degree symbol after m in the formula to help remember to use the central angle degree measure and not the arc length. So just remember that this is a degree measure and a degree measure, okay? Now before we look at this, let's look at the diagrams here. This is center pivot irrigation. So this long irrigating watering mechanism is pivoting around this point, see, in the center. And it's on wheels and it goes around and waters this circle-shaped plot. So a circular plot with a 720-foot diameter is watered by a center pivot irrigation system. And in the nearest square foot, what is the area that the sprinkler can water as it rotates through an angle of 50 degrees? So if it rotates 50 degrees like this, just a little piece of the circle, what's the area that it's sprinkled, that it watered? So we have our formula. And we're going to put this 50 where that m degrees is, aren't we? So it told us our diameter was 720 feet, and that's two radii, isn't it? 
So to find the radius, we would just divide that by 2. That needs to be squared for our r squared. So we have 360 squared. Here we have our 50 degrees over the 360 degrees. 360 squared is 129,600. We multiply it to this. We get 6,480,000 over 360 pi. We divide the 6,480,000 by 360 and we get 18,000 pi. We multiply the 18,000 by pi and we get approximately this nice long decimal number that we can round to 56,549 feet squared. So that's the area that is watered when the sprinkler rotates through an angle of 50 degrees. Next up is the second part of this lesson. We're going to talk about the area of a segment of a circle in 12.3b. And there's still two more parts after that for this lesson. This is a four-part lesson so that you don't have an hour-long video to watch. So now you have another formula to add to your notes. And you can try finding the area of a sector of a circle. Keep going. Keep trying. And I'll see you for the next part of the lesson. Bye.